Sister Up and Grove is there alone. She's nobody with her, but God's given her strength. She's 81. And she can still get around. She struggles a little bit because she is 81. But I'm her number one prayer every day. Right. Keep him strong. She said to me this morning, she said, she said honey, I'm proud of you. And I, I said, well, look, I was just thinking how proud of you I am. Out here for years and years. I got to figure from the time we got married, I was 22 and she was 19. And when I was out on the field and overseas and traveling, she was home praying, raising those children, sending them to school, and, and, and did cooking for people. Also at a church, I'd, sometimes I'd get there on Sunday morning, sometimes I wouldn't, and she'd take care of the children, she could preach. She was a missionary too. The whole thing. I said, I was just thinking how, how proud I am to have you. And there's never been one time in our whole ministry of 62 years that we have lived on a salary. We have never had a salary. Why, Brother Up the Grove? It just didn't work out that way. God said the just shall live by faith. Now, I know, I know that if you're working and have a family, you have to have a salary. You have to have something you can count on. But see, ask, ask the prophet. He didn't tell me, Brother Up the Grove, you come up here and I guarantee you, you'll, you'll get this much money. No. Amen. Because he, he's been on the field himself. My, my interest and my faith in this revival is I put out over $1,200 for a plane ticket plus $60 uh, for, for my bags to go one way. I got to pay $60 going back. That was, that was my first interest. Amen. That was my faith. I said, God, you're going to bless it. I felt led to come. Amen. Amen. He felt it in the Spirit, and I felt it. Amen. And after the first night service, I said, you're right on, God. Amen. You sent me. How many believe God sent me for this meeting? Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm just wondering today on this resurrection day. And I know I'm a fanatic. And I know I say some strange things. It's hard for people to receive. But God actually witnessed in my spirit. And said, you can be a part of this anointing. If you'll, if you'll bless us, this will be the only service while I'm here this week and next week that I'm going to receive a love offering as our salary. Whatever you give today is the salary that Sister Up Grove and I are going to get for two weeks. Amen. And God said, if you will give and bless this ministry, He in turn would bless you. And I believe part of this anointing, brother, is going to just up right Lord have mercy. Y'all have to pray for me today. I feel something. I, I inspire these old bones. How many thank God that you know the difference between just having church and the anointing? How many thank God you know the difference? <laughs> Hallelujah. And I thought maybe there might be a few people that just come up here and say, Brother, up the road. I'm, I'm going to take an envelope for a hundred dollars and I'm either going to give it today or I'm going to bring it back by tomorrow night to the service and, and just write on that envelope for for Brother Up the Grove if you're making out a check make it out to this church but that, in that way if it, he'll take all the checks and give me one check for, for our salary for these two weeks but if you say Brother Up the Grove I want to be part of the ministry and I know if I bless you, God's going to bless me. God told me to tell you that. You bless, you bless me and God will bless you. How many of you would like to live by faith not knowing what's coming in next week? <laughs> Hallelujah. And I, I just felt like there'd be some people here just come up and say, Brother Up the Grove, you standing with us. We're going to stand with you. Amen. And I just want you to come and stand right here and say, Brother Up the Grove, either either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm, I'm going to give a hundred dollars as part of your salary to your sister up the grove to be a blessing to you and the ministry that you've divided with us. Amen. Just come out on, honey. And give me one prophet. Hallelujah. Stand right here, honey. Mother wants one. If you want to put it on a, a credit card, 
pastor will tell you how. Somebody said, why a credit card? I, I wish this church had as much as, as Walmart has. <laughs> Walmart's eat up with your credit cards. Hey, Amen. Will you give it to I appreciate this just that here for a I feel like an impartation of a blessing on you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Either today or by tomorrow night in that impartation service. Anybody else? I feel like God's talking to some more people. Amen. Oh, I take one to her, son. Prophet. Yes. What if they can't get it back by tomorrow night, but since you're going on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, the other ones can believe to get it in by then? Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? Amen. If you're here, maybe you could do that. God bless you. Come on down. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know why I just saw the number seven in the spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Two have come. If anybody else is all right. Hallelujah. Glory. And three of God. Just stand right here. Yeah. I really believe Glory. this. Uh, Pray about it. God bless you. His folks that give and give and give. And just, I don't know how you do it, but just, oh Lord. Here comes four. Who shall I? Oh Lord. God said seven, not Lord, three. Just stand. Yeah, just stand right here. We just need two more. To... Glory to God. <laughs> Even if we have to bring now, back. I talked to Sister up and go three times already. You wait like caller this afternoon. Just turn your ears toward the south. You will hear her shout. Amen. But when you just walked in, either you or Eric, come up here and take one of these envelopes. I'll explain it later. And God don't do it for you. I know He will. I will. God bless you. Amen. The prophet said either right now or tonight. Or next uh, weekend, next Friday night. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. Is anybody else? Now, to, to make this complete while you're standing here, Brother Up the Grove, I can't give $100, but I am going to give a love offering. And I'm going to do it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'll give her one. I guess she was standing in line. Yeah. And if you'll just come up here and just take a white envelope and say, I'm going to give the very best I can. And I know God will bless you for it. Amen. Just stand on either end. Amen. This is for as, as good as you can get. Maybe 20, maybe 10, maybe 50. I don't know what it is. But God will bless you for it. Amen. Just stand right here. Yeah, okay. God bless you, son. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Everybody ought to get in on this. Amen. Whatever, whatever you can give in these white envelopes, just do your best. God will love you for it. Just, just stand up here for for the blessing. Amen. Anybody else? The other offerings were specified for Africa, and that's where it's going to go. Amen. This is just a special love offering for your evangelist. Amen. And his family. Glory. Anybody else? Hallelujah. You see, folks, Sister Up the Grove is at home now. You that can turn it in tonight, she needs to get it as soon as the first bank opens. So don't hold off those that said you do it now. You want? Oh, you go. Okay. Yeah, amen. Now, here's what I'd like for you to do with these envelopes. Please, when you go back to your seats and, and get them ready, put your name on the envelopes. I'm telling you what the Spirit spoke to me. <laughs> Because you bless me, He's going to bless you. How many know that God has something better than a computer going on? Amen. Computers break down. Yes. But God said every soul that is saved, you're going to get part of the credit for it. Every sick person that's healed, you're going to get part of the credit for it because you're helping me to do it. Everybody that's blessed in Africa. <laughs> Glory to God. 
You're going to get part of the credit. God don't make any mistakes. Amen. Every crippled person that gets out of a wheelchair, right, beside, right by your name. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. On resurrection day, right here in, the, in this place, God said you're going to get a blessing for it. So that's why your name is important on that envelope. And when it comes in, I'm going to be calling those names in prayer, putting my hand on it, and asking God to bless you. Amen. Those of you that were not able, I'm going to ask God to bless you. Hallelujah. So, so that God will let your coffers be full. How many back here would like to wake up tomorrow and not owe anybody anything? Can we see your hand? Amen. The Lord bless every one of God in Jesus' name. Woo. I love you. God bless you. Now, raise, raise those envelopes up high, Father. I pray over every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God right now. In Jesus' name, amen. I, woo, hallelujah. Lord, give it back to them a thousandfold according to Deuteronomy 1.11. Lord, a thousandfold oh. return according to Your Word. Amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Alright, you may return to your seats. Get them ready and we're going to receive them in just a moment. How many enjoy this Holy Ghost music? Amen. Thank God for these musicians. Hallelujah. Do, do me one more number while everybody's getting this ready. If you will, sing me a good song. Glory. It's a song holy angels cannot sing. Yeah, I like it. I want to make it. up so I can put my hand on them. If you take another envelope during the revival at any time and you can turn it in right now would be a good time. All right, praise God. Lord, right now, <laughs> touch Sister Johnson and bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, put your hand up on there. Hallelujah. Merciful God in thy precious name. Touch Aaron, Lord. From the crown of his head to the soul of his feet. Ooh, Aaron, God's got a blessing for you, son. I feel. <laughs> Lord, let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I feel that. <laughs> Glory, Father, in thy precious name. Lord, all these names that are written here. All the way down the line, I put my hand on every one of them, God. Bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Father, in thy precious name, Lord, touch the whole 
types of pen. Jack the other day. Glory, Lord in thy name, hallelujah. That's Kevin, the other big stone Lord. People that are on their journey back home. But bless that family in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Merciful God, does Joanne. I'm praying this in our family. <laughs> hallelujah. God's got a blessing with your name on. Thank you, Lord. Merciful God. That's Roberta. Roses. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm mean, getting a lot of the roses. Amen. God bless the whole family. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. They're all from the same two, probably. Are they? All right. Lord, just Kanye Jesus. Praise you. Bless this offering. Glory to God. Lord, bless Chanel. Sacrificed a sacrifice unto the name of the Lord King. I, the Lord, have seen it. Yea, and because you gave, when it was a sacrifice, the same blessing that came upon the little widow woman that had nothing but a handful of meal and just a small cruise of oil. And God let a blessing come upon her and her son until the famine was over. And I speak a blessing upon you and your whole family until you go up and beyond, until the famine is over, until until finances pick up. God's going to bless you abundantly above everything you can think or ask because your heart is in the right place. Thus saith the Lord. Hi, Sean of Asaka. Woo! Lord, everybody shout. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lord, I thank you in Jesus' name. To Jerry, God, I pray in thy precious name, Lord. God bless you, Eric. Amen. Father, in thy precious name, I'm asking you to touch your Lord. Kara, Eagle of Lord, I pray for the whole Eagle family in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to ask if you'll stand one more time with me. It's been an unusual service. Amen. But how many are going to start living a little more on your Father's side? Amen. <laughs> How many of you that message was for you? Amen. Amen. Just wave, wave your hand and say, that was for me. That was for me. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't forget, to, tomorrow night, an impartation service. If you've never been in one, then you've missed a blessing. But we're going to have one right here tomorrow night. Be here. How many would like an impartation of more spirit, more God, more Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand for it in Jesus' name. And here's our pastor. Come and clap your hands. You may be seated. Sundays we start here at 3. At the evenings we start at 7.30 during the week. Now, if you don't understand what he's talking about, some of the new ones, when he prays for you, the power of God in him is going to come on you. And if you don't want to do the kind of miracles and things that God uses him for, then just get enough to keep you strong. And I did notice we had some people come in late that maybe didn't know about the time. So when I dismiss the service, the boys are going to, the men are going to sing us a song. And if you want prayer for healing, I'll look after that. That, that blonde lady back there, were you in our meetings before? Were you here when Brother Up the Grove was here the first time? Because this woman looked like you. I'll be glad to minister. Now, Tonight and tomorrow night after the services, we're serving lunch. There's no charge. Today's a complete Easter ham and turkey dinner. And, but if you don't want to eat here, you don't have to. Tomorrow night's the last service before the weekend. In case you missed it, God spoke. The prophet is staying for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. Not Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then going on with my team and I to Winnipeg for a few nights. Just before we go, I want three people, even if you're already testified in this service, 
And by the way, I didn't mean to embarrass anybody earlier. Sometimes there's time for us all to pray for folk and individuals. But when the prophet gets up, when the leader gets up and begins to minister, if you don't hear it, yes, I understand that. But it's only confusion if you have two or three taking the lead at the same time. So forgive me if you didn't know, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but uh, the Bible says, do let all things be done decently in order, and the spirit of the prophet is subject to prophet. Anyway, three people that got something quick and not a sermon either. Yes. She just left her cane behind after being healed. 